Here at the University Laboratory, we have quite a long history of performing this science, uh, unraveling the techniques uh, used in MMA together with examining the, uh, the gear itself used for both training and competing. Uh, a couple of years ago, we partnered with uh, Hayabusa. We developed a, uh, a striking machine that, uh, where we, we casted a, a fist and arm, and it delivers a blow every two seconds, uh, literally for days. In our testing, we uh, pulled apart a lot of uh, different boxing and MMA gloves, and uh, we were surprised to find in, in some of them uh, just glued together uh, foam composites, which uh, turned out to really uh, fail in, in, in terms of uh, preserving any protective qualities over uh, any more than three or four strikes. We spent literally thousands of hours testing different configurations to find the, the magical blend between optimal energy dissipation and protecting the uh, fist and wrist of the, uh, of the athlete. The trick is to find a uh, glove that preserves its strike and protective characteristics time and time again. Kayabus has captured that in the uh, technology they've uh, incorporated uh, into the core through the Deltra EG uh, configuration. The Deltra EG uh, configuration has been designed to be very resilient to any degradation uh, so that the uh, protection to the hand is preserved strike after strike and training session after training session. Yeah, in my opinion, Hayabusa has been very successful in really incorporating all of the variables that we are able to define of what makes a great glove. These are things that you can't see from the outside. The quality gear is quite important for the uh, longevity of uh, an MMA athlete. Uh, if the gloves are bottoming out, they're, they're uh, really risking their uh, hands and uh, wrists, which, which are the tools of their trade. With the Deltra EG, it was flawless. There was no bottoming out. This uh, latest technology uh, incorporated into the Deltra EG uh, composite gloves uh, had practically zero degradation over thousands and thousands of uh, strike cycles. I was quite impressed in how Hayabusa was able to incorporate uh, some of these uh, components quite quickly into what I consider now the state-of-the-art in MMA gear.